Hey guys, I just got back from the grocery store and I thought that I would do a grocery haul for you. I haven't done one in a really long time. Uh, I got lots of stuff, a lot of like healthy-ish uh, things that we're gonna be making for meals. Um, I say ish because there are also some things in here that are not super healthy. Um, things like for Gunner, little snacks, things like that that we like. Um, I'm gonna share with you everything that we got, tell you like what meals we're making and kind of what we're using each thing for. Um, oh, be careful, Gunner's getting into the mix nuts. So, and he's helping me, he helped me unload all the groceries. Um, but I went to Target, I went to Aldi and Kroger and I got a few things at Trader Joe's. So, I am going to show you all of this goodness. Lots of stuff. The Cuisinart, <laughs> I need to put that away. Chris brought that in from the barn because it's been in our storage. Um, I need to find a home for it. Um, I haven't really done like a home tour or anything and it's gonna be a while before I do anything like that. These shelves are actually not staying. The previous owner uh, put them in. We don't really like them. They're not really our thing. So eventually we're gonna, oh my goodness gracious, Gunner. Yeah, okay. Um, but eventually we're gonna remove these paint in here because the color is not really what I'm wanting. Um, now our cabinets down below are white um, or like a cream color so eventually I wanna put some upper cabinets up here um, instead and have this whole wall like bare and then have this extra counter space but that's a whole other video but I'm gonna share with you what I got at the store. So. Starting over here, I kind of categorized everything as best as I could. I have like bread products, so I have um, some man bread. I wanted the garlic one, but they were out. This is actually gonna go with, um, I'm gonna make spaghetti squash spaghetti. Um, and keep in mind, like the groceries that I purchased, this is like for two weeks. Now there might be a few things that we have to go back for, um, like fruit, uh, bread, things that we run out of on a weekly basis. Um, but this will get us through the next two weeks until Chris gets paid again. But nan bread, so I'm gonna do this with the spaghetti squash spaghetti. Um, I'm gonna put a little garlic on it and toast it up, kind of make it like a garlicky type bread and then do a Caesar salad with it. I got just some regular white bread um, for sandwiches. This is what Chris and Gunner typically like. Um, and then I also got this seeded bread from Kroger. All of these three were from Kroger. It's the wholesome, harvest nine grain and seed bread. We are actually gonna make some paninis um, to have with soup and with salad, actually probably just salads. Um, and I'm actually probably gonna keep this in the freezer so it lasts longer, but we'll do like grilled cheese with it. We have some really good like gourmet white cheddar cheese um, that my parents gave us. So we'll do that and then I have a uh, panini recipe that I'm gonna do with like turkey uh, and tomatoes, a little bit of cream cheese and some herbs, um, really, really yummy. And then I got back here, so this is kind of like our produce area, tons of, tons of produce. Um, so I got two bags of lemons. Um, one, we need it for just like some cooking, like a few meals. And then Chris has been making his own like detox water. So he's been doing like lemon and limes and cucumbers and mint. Um, so I got two bags of those. And then a bag of limes back here as well for his water and then just for some other stuff. Okay, and then I got some green grapes because Gunnar loves mapes. And two things of, camera's not focusing. There we go. Two things of strawberries, they had them on sale two for five, so these will be good like for breakfast. And I got a big, big bag of shredded collard greens. These are gonna be for New Year's Day Southern tradition. You're supposed to eat collards and black eyed peas uh, for wealth for the coming year. Um, and then I have some tomatoes here. Um, I am doing, oh, we'll need tomatoes for the paninis, and then I'm also gonna do this like enchilada chicken bake, so the tomatoes will go on top of that as well, and then also for a chopped salad that I'm making. I have two large cucumbers just for Chris for his water that he does, um, four avocados. I use these in, uh, in the morning for breakfast on avocado toast. Um, I like to make just homemade guacamole, 
uh, for snacking and, and whatnot. And I'm gonna be doing some steak burrito bowls, so we'll probably use uh, these to make some guacamole with as well. Um, and then I got some bananas, um, some cilantro, this will be for the enchilada bake, and then also white chicken chili. Um, I got some baby spinach just for sandwiches and wraps and whatnot um, for us to eat. Some green onions, a big container of spring mix for salads, a pineapple, and then I have three bags of romaine hearts because I use these for lettuce wraps and then we'll also use them like for salads. This will be for the chopped salad um, and then for Caesar salad. We eat a lot of salad so we will definitely be using those up. And then I have a bag of onions here. These are just like sweet yellow onions. Um, and then in here, these are kind of dirty so I didn't want to take them out. I have two spaghetti squash um, for spaghetti squash spaghetti. And then, um, okay, so then let's go back here. I have a bag of black eyed peas. So we'll do black eyed peas for New Year's Day as well. Um, frozen peas, these are good just for Gunner to eat. And then also I got some whole kernel corn for Gunner. Um, and this will also go in the enchilada bake. And then I just got these Asian seasoned veggie medley. Um, it's like broccoli, carrots, baby corn, snap peas, and then it has like an Asian sauce on them. I thought these would be good for Gunner. I got two bags of those for veggies for him. Uh, can of diced tomatoes. This will be for the black eyed peas. Um, we put those in the black eyed peas. Oh, I forgot ham. Shoot. I usually put uh, like cubed ham in as well. Two things of cannellini beans for the white bean uh, chicken chili. Can of olives, these will be for the enchilada bake. I got some garlic. This is the minced garlic and olive oil. The last few times I've purchased like fresh garlic, it has gone bad on me very fast. And this stuff stays fresher, longer in the refrigerator. Whoa, bubbies, be careful, okay? Um, so I ended up just getting that because I didn't want to mess with the other garlic. I got some salt and pepper. This is what I use to put in our salt and pepper uh, grinders, like our electric ones that we have. I got Gunner. Three things of applesauce. So these are the little packets. He loves these things. This is the multi-fruit. I got apple, pe uh, apple peach and apple strawberry. Um, from Trader Joe's, I got these hot and sweet jalapenos. I love these. These are so yummy, like on sandwiches. They're really good in wraps, on pizza, um, in tuna fish, and like grilled cheese and all of that. Some dried cherries. These are for salad. What's she getting? Whatever. A uh, can of mixed nuts because Gunnar and Chris like these. And then a box of Swiss rolls. These are like the Aldi version of Swiss cake rolls. They taste exactly the same. Um, Gunnar loves these. These are just the mozzarella cheese sticks. Every once in a while I'll pop them in the oven for him. Uh, so I get those for him. And then down here I have some deli meat. It's not like the healthiest, but these are easy for like Gunnar for lunch. Um, and I'll use this like in my lettuce wraps, but I got chicken, turkey, and honey ham. And then I have a top sirloin steak. This is going to be used for our steak burrito bowls. Um, I have two things of the microwavable bacon because we use those a lot like for breakfast and sandwiches. Uh, two things of ground turkey. What's wrong? Where'd that basil go or that mint go I have? It should be in that drawer. Um, and then I also got some salami for Gunner, just like for lunch with cheese and whatnot. Um, and then these country ham slices for the collard greens. Um, and then we got two things of blue cheese for salad. Uh, Colby Jack and Monterey Jack. This will be for the uh, enchilada bake. And then this one will be for the white chicken chili. Um, back here I have just the little gummy fruit snacks. The dinos and sharks that we get at Aldi. 
These are really, really, really good. Um, some pretzel twists. I'm gonna do like these little mini s'mores things with just marshmallows and Hershey's bar. And then we got the Jim and Nick's cheese biscuits to go with our New Year's dinner. Um, and just some pear juice for Gunner. Um, some vanilla almond milk. This is what I use in my coffee. Uh, marinara from Trader Joe's, traditional marinara. Um, I usually have, I thought I had an extra one of these and I don't, so I ended up having to pick up another one at Kroger, and so I got the traditional classic tomato. I don't know if this is any good, but I'm just going to mix them for the spaghetti squash spaghetti. I got some soup, uh, from Progresso, just for lunches, like quick, easy lunches. Uh, creamy roasted chicken wild rice. Stop, Chris. Uh, Italian style wedding. Chicken and cheese enchilada. Oh, please. Uh, some vegetable oil just for baking brownies and cakes and stuff like that. Uh, the salsa verde, this is what I use for my white chicken chili. And then I got a big thing of enchilada sauce. I've never tried this brand. I don't know if it's any good, but I got it at Kroger, so we'll see. Uh, the crunchy granola raisin brand, this is just like the raisin brand crunch, and it's so yummy. We love this stuff. Uh, some paper plates, some paper towels, some sponges for dishes. Um, I had to get a sympathy card because somebody passed away. Um, and then I got some toilet paper and then I just got some aluminum foil, the Glad Press and Seal. We ran out of all of this stuff at Christmas time so I needed to stock up just regular like plastic wrap and then parchment paper. Um, all of these came from Target except for this. And then I got a couple of primers. This is my favorite primer. This is the one that I always use. It's just the poreless one. But this one I'm gonna try, it's the illuminating one, and I'm hoping it's similar to the CC, oh wait, no, what is it? The IT Cosmetics one, I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, I think that's it. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. Um, I also got these at Trader Joe's. These are the roasted plantain chips. We love these. Dipped in this chunky guacamole, also from Trader Joe's. This is the reduced guilt one, so it's made with Greek yogurt, and it's really good. Gunner loves this little snack, as do I. Um, and then I also, from Aldi, got some fresh salsa just for... Burritables. Um, I also make pico for that, but I'm um, just like dipping with chips and things like that. So, um, is that everything? I think it is. Um, so yeah, that is all that I got. For ten dollars. Yes, ten dollars. Got a steal. Oh, and I got a case of Diet Coke and a case of Coke as well, because Kroger had it on sale. So. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave any comments and questions below. Don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. See you next time. Yay.